Hi, I'm Don. Today, we're painting another model from ChimericCollective.com. Today, we're painting this mecha yellow, which is the easiest to paint and weather for mecha. We will be using mostly army painter paints as usual. This video is my goodbye video. Like, seriously, there will be a lot of goodbyes in this video. I painted this model in roughly around 90 minutes, which shows that you don't need to spend a chunk of your life to paint a miniature. Also, as usual, watch until the end of the video for our tip time. I'm Don. Welcome to our studio. This channel is supported by all these brands. And this channel won't be possible without the support of my awesome patrons. We start with the base painting. I always say this in all my videos. Base painting doesn't matter if you use the airbrush or speed paints or regular paints. In this video, we're using speed paints as our airbrush paint. So basically, goodbye. Goodbye to my highlight sauce, my thinning sauce, especially my thinning sauce for airbrushing. I think my thinning sauce and even my highlight sauce kind of work well for most people, especially if they use like the brands that I used to use. But with this one, you saw that I don't really need to thin speed paints for airbrushing. Although I must admit, it's kind of tricky to airbrush speed paints because they're transparent. Similar to inks, airbrushing inks, it's kind of tricky to create a uniform color because as you build up layers, you'll create like more saturated layers in some areas. However, I don't really care. All this like not so uniform base color will, will be to our advantage later because I'm going for a weathered look. If you want a uniform color though, I would recommend War Paints Air. Those paints, the War Paints Air, also do not need thinning for airbrushing. Although I would recommend a bigger needle like a 0.4 and around 20-ish PSI. Now my next goodbye is... Hmm... Goodbye to some paint brands that I used to use. Moving forward, especially for next year, I'll be using just Army Painter paints and of course, Cuttlefish colors. I have the complete set of the War Paints Fanatic and of course, a complete set of the Speed Paints 2.0. So moving forward, I'll be painting a lot of models with all these Army Painter paints. I'm pretty sure that I'll still paint with cuttlefish colors because I love those paints. So seriously, especially for next year, it's goodbye to all my previous paints that I used to use in my videos. But wait, let's go back to the video first. Paint shaping is really great. It creates very nice texture, especially for mecha. But you could also use it as like freckles for monsters and beast models. There are two ways to like make the paint shaping look pretty good. One is to make sure that you apply very small paint shaping with the sponge. And two, use a color that is not too far from your base color. This, the second one, the second tip is easier. The initial paint shaping would represent like scratches, minor scratches, because the color is not too far from the model. And because we use a color near to the base color, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look too much. But of course, if you want heavier weathering, you could use a darker or a lighter color which has more contrast against the base color. Now back to my goodbyes. <laughs> like, I'm not saying goodbye to Mecca. I really love Mecca. Given the choice, I'll do like at least once a month, I'll do Gunpla, but... I can't. It, it's very time-consuming. Though, I must say that there is no goodbyes for Mecha or Gunpla. Another goodbye would be my video format. I think I will try to talk a little bit more on camera 
so that I could properly explain some concepts. Usually, if you don't do that, you'll run out of videos because you need to like say a lot more and you only have a few clips of painting videos. So I will do that, especially for next year. I will try to basically improve all my videos for next year. Going back to the video though, you see now that I'm painting a darker like paint chipping. This would represent heavier paint chipping or deeper paint chipping. This would represent dense or like really chipped off paint. So you could do this with a sponge but be careful because you might apply too much. My last goodbye is not really a permanent goodbye unlike my other goodbyes in this video which is basically goodbye to glazing. What I mean is like goodbye to like thinning down paint so that I could use them for glazing. I am focused to really improve my sketching, especially with War Paints Fanatic for the next couple of months. So expect a ton of sketchy or sketching or sketchy, yeah, sketchy models or miniatures in the next couple of months because I'll focus on like improving my brush strokes. No, not brush strokes, paint strokes. And of course, since War Paints Fanatic is very like, it has a very good coverage, it will be perfect for sketching or for a sketchy style. I'm pretty sure like this goodbye, goodbye to glazing is super temporary since I love my speed paints which is practically good for glazing too. And of course, I love my cuttlefish colors which are pre-glaze paints. Going back to the video, now you see me adding a wash or more contrast to the mecha. At this stage, you could actually use oils but the washes from Army Painter are that good. They're really good. So although I'm pretty sure I'll paint with oil soon, especially during the summer, I'm really happy with the washes of Army Painter. Oh, so basically goodbye to Citadel washes too and definitely goodbye to Citadel contrast paints. Although goodbye in terms of buying more, but I still have a ton of those paints so I might use them occasionally, especially for the basing or groundwork. Now you see in the video, I'm painting the metallics or the metallic parts and don't tell Army Painter I'm using War Paints Fanatic. I'm not supposed to show it yet until next year. I must say though, the War Paints Fanatic Metallic Paints are the best metallic paints that I have ever used. Now before our tip time, I just want to thank all my patrons. Without my patrons, this channel is dead. Now it's time for our tip time. Painting mecha for me is the easiest. I don't know if it's like my experience with Gunpla because I've been doing that since like 2000 whatever. But basically, I find painting mecha super easy. This one, I spent a little bit more time on the chipping. Thus, I think I painted this model in roughly around 90 minutes. Keys to painting mecha is a proper process, especially if you plan to weather. Weathering is tricky. It will force you to follow a certain process, especially if you use like a chipping medium or even as simple as this, the chipping with sponge technique. This weathering methods won't allow you to paint the other parts of the model. So you should finish or semi-finish the painting of the main parts or the weather parts of the mecha first because you don't want paint chipping or colors of the paint chipping on other parts of the model. So basically, you have to follow a simple process of finishing the painting and weathering of the main armor parts before you paint the details, especially the metallic parts. In this video, I did not really show you the painting of the metallic parts because I painted with War Paints Fanatic. Don't tell Army Painter. But next year, we'll have a proper video or proper videos with like painting with War Paints Fanatic, even the metallic paints. So that's it for painting mecha. Follow a certain process like paint the main parts first, do the weathering, do your thing, use oils if you want, and then paint the metallics afterwards. As for my goodbyes, I'm really serious, especially 
goodbye to all my sauces, my highlight sauce, and my thinning sauce. This is my last video for 2023 and I hope you enjoyed all my videos this year. That's it, Pansit. I hope you like this video. Until next video, guys. Cheers!